Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. I'm Father Robert Balasser, the digital Jesuit, and this ghostly apparition behind me is the Acer AG3-605. It's the Predator. The Predator AG3-605 series of desktops is a line of machines for the budget-conscious gamer. All Acer Predators share a no-nonsense exterior with a black matte finish, fiery highlights, glossy front panel, minimalistic styling, and easy-to-access ports. The top of the machine puts in reach the usual complement of I.O., an SD card reader, two USB 3.0 ports, including one that always provides power for USB charging, two USB 2.0 ports, as well as headphone and microphone jacks. The back of the AG3605 has ports for power, keyboard, and mouse, two additional USB 3.0, two more USB 2.0, and gigabit Ethernet. The front of the machine has a slide-away panel that hides a tray for holding your headphones when not in use, as well as a single cold swappable 3.5-inch storage bay. Inside the Predator, you'll find a well-organized group of components. Our review unit came with a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 770 with 2 gigabytes of video memory and 8 gigabytes of system memory. Though you can find Predators that are equipped with every flavor of NVIDIA and ATI graphics part and between 8 and 32 gigabytes of DDR3 SD RAM. All AG3 605 desktops use an air-cooled quad-core Intel i7-4770 Haswell CPU running at 3.4 gigahertz sitting on top of a motherboard with four memory slots, as well as a single PCI Express 16 slot, two PCI Express 1X slots, and two mini PCIe slots. One of those mini PCIe slots is occupied by a wireless LAN card that provides 2.4 and 5 GHz 802.11 A, B, G, and N connectivity. Storage for our review unit came in the form of a 1TB Seagate Barracuda hard drive and a DVD-RRW optical drive. In benchmarking, our review unit posted a 3D Mark 11 score of 9465. We would have liked to have seen a bit more, but the Predator was held back by its 8 gigabytes of system memory and rotating hard drive. Still, our AG3605-UR39 posted above average benchmarks. But enough with the specs and the benchmarking. The question is, how did it run? In a word, fantastic. Our review unit played Titanfall, Bioshock Infinite, Goat Simulator, and pretty much every game we had in our Steam library at the full 1920x1080 with all the eye candy turned on without as much as a hiccup. Game and level loads were slow, again because of the lack of an SSD, but gaming itself was buttery smooth. After two months of playing with our Predator, another thing became clear. This is a quiet gaming desktop. Even running full tilt, we had no problems leaving the machine on the desk without worrying about excess noise. Try that, home builders. Yes, we also managed to get some great Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects work done with the machine, though it could have benefited from another 8 or 24 gigabytes of memory, but let's be honest. Where the Acer Predator AG3605 line of desktops excels is in a pure fun, no muss, no fuss, turnkey gaming Predator. In fact, the reason why it took so long for this review to be published is because the machine was adopted by Twit host and editor Brian Burnett, who developed a curious relationship with the Predator. We tried to take it away from him a month ago, but it was difficult. The Acer Predator AG3605 series of gaming desktops is available now. You can find them in configurations ranging from $800 to $1,300. Now, on the pro side, the Predator series of desktops from Acer are fast and simple. They truly are turnkey gaming solutions. You don't have to know a whole lot about gaming computers. You just need to know what your budget is and what kind of machine you want to get. The second thing is that it is quiet, really quiet, dead quiet. I've built a lot of systems in my time trying to eke out the last bit of performance. And I have to say, this is fast, but it's quite possibly the quietest desktop I've ever had. As I said in the review, we've kept this on our desk, not underneath it, because it just doesn't put out that much sound even when it's running at full tilt. I like that. Also on the pro side is the excellent value. When you consider the components that go into this machine, you'd be hard pressed to, to eke out a little extra savings even if you were going to home build the machine. 
The last thing has to be the gamer-friendly design. Everything from the handle to the uh, pop-out tray for your headphones, it screams attention to details for things that gamers want. Uh, that headphone thing, we thought it was kind of silly, but we ended up using it all the time. And in fact, Brian Burnett had said that uh, when he went home and, and saw his headphones on his home PC lying on the desk, he realized how much nicer it was to have everything in one big bundle. Now, on the con side, I'd have to say that the number one thing is the lack of an SSD. Now, I, I know that this has a great price performance ratio, but to call yourself a gaming desktop without an SSD it's going to leave a lot of people with the wrong impression of your product. Yes, I know it would raise the price, but I, I think it's worth it if you're going for that performance. The second thing has to be the lack of flexibility. It only has a 500 watt power supply and it only has one time 16 slot for PCI Express. Now I do like the two mini PCI Express slots, but still, if I ever wanted to upgrade to, say, a, a two-way, an SLI or, uh, you know, a, a nicer video card that was going to suck down more power, I'd have to be looking at upgrading all the components, and that's not going to be for me. Now, buy, try, or don't buy. It gets a little tricky here. If you are a home builder, if you're used to upgrading your system constantly, you're not going to be happy with this box. But if you are just a casual gamer, if you're someone who likes a lot of performance and you want a box that's going to last you a long time, if you want something that can do mixed mode work so you could l use this on your desktop for your regular work without it sounding like a lawnmower, then I'd say that the Acer AG3-605 line of gaming desktops is an absolute buy. I'm Father Robert Ballas here with Before You Buy.